Let's rewind. We have done exercise. It might not be considered exercise, but it was exercise because sweat beads had come down our faces. <laughs> that four minute workout, huh? They're like, oh, I sweat so much. Oh, I wasn't, I, I wasn't talking about the four minute workout. <laughs> Maybe the 10 minute one. It was four minutes. <laughs> yeah! It was like bouncing up and down. And like the speed? Well, I, I was just really impressed at the speed. So if you like speed and things going up and down, I got you covered. We don't need to go on that hike anymore. <laughs> Fuzzy too, okay? <laughs> hey guys, James and Mark here with another mukbang. Please subscribe, we're on the road to 20,000 subscribers by June. And today, what are uh, we having, Mark? Uh, hmm, I haven't thought about the name of this. Uh, can we call it Mark's World Famous Shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> you were inspired because I think earlier this week you were looking up different options we could do for today's mukbang. Yeah, and I want a shrimp. Yeah. And then, so this, uh, we just marinated in kind of classic Korean flavors. So there's some gochujang, soy sauce, sesame oil, sugar. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just really excited. We never had this before. We never mm -hmm. cooked this before. No. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's sitting on top of bed of rice. So all of that sauce that Mark just made, it's it's soaking it all up right now. So oh, I'm super excited I'm to actually, eat that part too. I'm actually, yeah, that, that does look good. These are tail on shrimp. So I'm just going to eat the shrimp first. Mmm. Mmm. It's super easy to eat. <laughs> it's mild. Um, not spicy at all, but there's a little hint of spiciness, huh? Mmm. Mmm. It is easy to eat. Oh, yeah. Mm. I was thinking my hands were going to get even messier today, but then I realized I might be able to just get away with two fingers. We'll see. Well, I was strategic. I could have bought shell on trip, or I could have bought, you know, de shell trip. So, I don't know. You stay true to Mark's world famous shrimp though. <laughs> like it would not have shells on it if you had your choice. Yeah. I want to try some of this rice though. And we have some potatoes and as James said, three different kinds of bell pepper. Red, yeah. yellow, and green. The rice is completely soaked. It's like Korean risotto. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Mmm. The rice is good. This is like classic mm. Mark though. Mark likes pretty much any rice sopped in like sauce. Sauce, yeah. Mmm. You might even like the rice part more than the shrimp. <laughs> yeah, so what are you drinking? You want hype? Yeah, good old hype. Keeping it Korean. Some Korean beer. And then we also have some chummy just in case if we feel like we want to get some, if we want to be chummy today. I don't feel like there is a just in case. It's already <laughs> been frosted. You have the shot glass. This is a huge, I'm like, fine, let's, just drink let's it. go for it. Tornado, open. One of our favorite uh, viewers and mod, Gina, mm. found Chummy. And she, she actually said she likes it. And the way she described it is exactly how I describe it. It's like, sweet and smooth. Like, not like sugary sweet, but just natural 
like naturally sweet. So Gina is also a shareholder of Chummy Incorporated, <laughs> right? Just like you. You haven't told me yet, but I'm pretty sure. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh yeah, that Chummy is good. And it's, I feel like it's good with this dish. It's well, good with every dish. I was just gonna say, like, what are quintessential dishes that... Because not every dish in Korean culture is good with soju, but there are a couple that I feel like we've, we've gone out and you're like, oh, we have to have soju with this dish. Like, what would your top three, like, dish we have to have soju with? with? soju? Yeah. Um, seafood pancake. Mm. Seafood kim pan pancake, kimchi pancake, for sure. Pork belly? Mmm, pork belly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hosam, anything like pork belly would be good. Okay. Yeah. This is a good way to sneak in the bell peppers in because I've told you this a few times, bell pe peppers are not my favorite. Like I'll eat it. How is it in this? Okay. You don't really think too hard about it. It kind of reminds me of onion, which I love onions. <laughs> right? And you also added onion in there. So mm -hmm. maybe I ate an onion though. <laughs> it's probably, it's is it an onion a, or a yellow one? Uh oh, oh. It's probably an onion. Okay, wait. Oh my god, I think that was an onion. Let me try this. That was an onion. Oh, it was an onion. <laughs> 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 so the marinade sauce is savory and sweet. Mm -hmm. And like what I said earlier, like just a hint of spiciness. Because we added a little bit of gochujang in here. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'm loving the rice. It's so good. Well, and then at the last minute, Mark decided he wanted the sauce a little thicker. So what did you do to achieve that Just result? add a tiny bit of um, slurry in there. What's a slurry? Uh, you have to remember, not everyone is a technical chef, okay? Slurry sounds like uh, when you're like pouring concrete out in the street. Like, you don't want to misinform people and then they put concrete in their dish and then we get sued. Actually, it's the same concept. Oh, it is. It You're is right. right. Yeah. Maybe that's why the name came from it. Yeah. Well, we did um, just just maybe a tea, just very little bit of potato starch and water, and then we just kind of added in at the last minute. I was just gonna ask. Um, I don't again. I don't iron or do dry cleaning or whatnot. But the starch that people use in their clothes is it the same as cooking starch, or is it a different starch? reserved for clothes? Do you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh my gosh! Isn't people I use starch for it? I actually don't know. I. I, my first reaction is I don't think they're the same thing, but if you told me it was, then again, I wouldn't be surprised either. Yeah, I don't know. Because it stiffens up the clothes. Oh, cheers. Oh, someone's thirsty no, I, today. I, I'm having the let's get it over with mentality. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah. Well, are you- I are think you... next video, I will suggest an, a liqueur. Because you have your chummy brand. I'm going to like, I don't know, introduce Zima or something like that'll be my brand. I only know Zima because when I was a kid for some reason Zima was kind of trendy or popular with the adults Like it was like a newer product back then or something like that. I don't know uh, Me and my brother we used to go on a family trip to Vegas quite frequently and every time we go on a road trip We would play the card game of finding signs um, In mm. alphabetical order like finding something that starts with that letter. So you start with a and then if you see this and you call it and then you can't go on to the next letter until you say something out loud. Okay. Kind of popular Z thing that we used to do is if we ever did a rest stop and we went inside like the, you know, the gas station uh, mart, we would like run over to the, as a kid, run over to the alcohol section oh. to look for the Zima. And that's how you guys knew it, just for that, that Just game. for that game, yeah. Oh, interesting. But I never, I don't think I've ever had it before. Have you? I I have never had it. So here's the thing about eating this in a, and then having the shells in a communal bowl is I have no idea how much I'm eating. Don't worry, girl. I got two pound shrimp. No, I think I am worried because right before you, we pressed play, you said I look skinny today and I don't want to ruin that. We, uh, in an earlier video, I had talked about how food is an aphrodisiac for myself. Right? Right. So it's hard for me to feel sexy or want to have sexy time after <laughs> sexy. after we like eat and I'm like all bloated and then I'm not as cute, right? So that's why I'm a little cautious, but I guess it doesn't really matter today. Well, we bought, I got two pound shrimp because every time we do Korean barbecue mukbang, we always say that two pounds would be our magic number. For our Hawaiian viewers out there, I don't know if you're familiar with like what hot spots there are when people go to Hawaii. Do you, are you familiar with, 
I think it's called Giovanni's Shrimp Truck. It's a very popular shrimp dish that they make in Hawaii and it is layers and layers of garlic. So I want you to make that next time. I've, I've seen people kind of make knockoffs of it because it's a lot easier to make it at home than buy a plane ticket, go to Hawaii and wait like two, three hours in line for it. I didn't know about that. I'm, we've never been to Hawaii. Uh, it's one of those spots where every time someone goes to Hawaii, they go. you see it. It's kind of like before we went to Japan, there were certain photos that you always saw everyone taking, like I the Inari was... Shrine. Like, I don't, I didn't know about that really until... Maybe I don't want to make that dish. Why? Wow, because we want to go to Hawaii? I want to go to Hawaii. So let's go to Hawaii first. Because we've always wanted to go to Hawaii. The quick side note though, like if we were to fly to Hawaii, let's say in two weeks. Okay. And we got on a plane. Yeah. They won't, they're not letting people sit all three together anymore, right? That's what they say. But we but don't know. There's a very famous photo of, I believe it's United Airlines. Oh, I saw that. Where Controversy. They filled every single seat and someone took a photo and posted it online. And it became like the, like the only photo you see of like, someone not following social distancing like guidelines as a company so and people weren't wearing masks on the plane some people weren't even wearing masks so i'm like okay i get it united you are probably struggling a little bit in business and maybe at that time moment you were just very weak uh, in terms of judgment call so you probably thought all these people needed somewhere to go and they're willing to pay for a ticket and maybe at that time you probably understood that these passengers might not care being like full and on full flight because they're willing to pay and go. But do you not know people take pictures and post things online? No, that's what you have like, to be afraid of like, nowadays. Like the bad image that you get for making that one small like mistake judgment call. Oh, then we need to shut down our channel. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many in here. If someone wants to destroy us, they could find a way. Actually, I just learned of this new term. I don't know what it's called, but it's basically a software that allows you to use someone's image or video and you can alter it and have them say something that you didn't even say. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, the example that's scary. That, they, that they always use is Obama. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they had it just surfaced again, like recently. Something else happened where. I mean, a lot of people are getting a lot of flack right now because of certain things they're saying and now they're just using that in their favor. So it's just like... So there's someone who is like going around to educate people how you could spot what's the real video or not. Really have to like investigate and look like, oh, how's the lip movement or whatever. But if you're just not paying attention, it seems so real. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's scary. It is so scary. I mean, do you remember what the term is? Even the term sounds scary. I was gonna say fracking, but that's totally different. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned that I complimented you earlier today that you, you are you look skinny today and you're so happy. Yeah. Right? So please don't let that withhold you from eating some more because oh, no, just okay. eat more shrimp, it's okay. <laughs> but I wonder if you think that you look good because we actually did our very first outdoor activity since the whole stay at home order in nine weeks we did our very first outdoor activity just this past monday why, why do you have to emphasize it so much because when i said out loud i'm even like astonished how inactive we were in this past too much yeah, that in itself should be considered an achievement it's in the eye of the beholder we withheld off physical activity of that nature for so long i know but i just feel guilty about just saying it out loud like i we haven't done any yeah form of exercise or enjoying the outside like okay. i don't know well let's let's rewind we have done exercise it might not be considered exercise but it was exercise because sweat beads had come down our faces oh yeah we talked about that four minute workout huh they're like oh i sweat so much. oh i wasn't I, I wasn't talking about the four minute workout <laughs> maybe the 10 minute one <laughs> it was four minutes yeah <laughs> I, I feel like anytime i do any workout after a long period of time, I feel like I get immediate results. But I know it doesn't work that way. So the no, hike, I think it works for you. 
Do you think so? Yeah, you like you're just saying that so that we're gonna do more of like outdoor physical. Okay, stuff. I have Don't trick me. I have to throw in all the tricks to make you want to. So is that was that compliment genuine? Uh huh. Okay, because the shirt is a little tight. You know, I know that shirt is always tight on you, but today <laughs> it wasn't. So I'm like, that's how I noticed the shade. Um. Well, so yeah, Mark found a trail that was nearby our house, maybe like two miles away. Mm -hmm. So we drove down there. Got our masks on, got our water bottles. I was a little bit more, I felt like overprepared because the last time we had gone hiking, which was like two years ago, we took Hadu, hot day, poor dog, never wanted to go hiking again. Cause so, he Cause he burnt his paw. Yeah, his paws were very sensitive to the ground. So we weren't able to take him this time around. I think that was literally the last time. And that trail was like, like hike, like a, it was like a going up the Like hill. there was no really man-made trail. This one was like, it was like turf, like a uh, concrete. It was a water. walking trail. Walking trail. It was a walking trail, yeah. So Mark was like, okay, well, it's three miles round trip. And I was like, okay, that doesn't sound that bad. I thought it was a nice break from our normal routine. We actually went on Memorial Day morning. Late, Late morning. morning. <laughs> so we uh, on the way back, it was past noon. So we're like, oh, it's kind of hot, but the small breeze. Yeah, that was, was everything. It. But the, the small sun breeze. was out. Okay, so the, the sun, sun was out. out and here's here, let me back up before we even left okay mark was applying uh this like this little green turquoise bottle of lotion on his face and it clearly said it had spf in it so he he applied that on his face that is that is all i had seen so right before he left the room he was like oh you should put some on your face so i followed his instructions i put it on my face uh -huh. and i got excited because mark was wearing his cut off um shirt yeah. mm -hmm. right so i was like oh i want to wear my cutoff shirt too but unknowingly i didn't realize that he had the cutoff shirt and he applied some form of sunscreen sunblock on his arms i failed to do that and my <laughs> arms are a wreck right now like earlier when you went like this i was like do not touch me <laughs> but i just was like i gotta push through it it's pretty red i don't know if you can really even see if not like it, i mean you can't no. Well, you could kind of oh my god, look at, look at the color difference. This is pretty bad. I'm embarrassed. Um, so this is our PSA. Make sure you guys wear some form of sunscreen, sunblock, for any part of your body that's exposed, even if you don't know how long a three mile trek will take. And so like now it's just been stinging. The other day we were watching Korean drama and Mark was laying down. He's like, why are you so hot? And I was like, because I'm burnt right now. And it's still, it's, it retains heat. And I don't remember sunburn. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> I don't remember um, it, does. it doing yeah, that. And yeah. so now I'm like, oh. but my favorite part though, this sounds gross, is getting to peel the skin later. <laughs> like that's fun for me. And it's in a reachable area. It's not like my back where I'm like, huh? So, 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 like, hey. so no. I, I blame James. I was like, okay. I, I did say, hey, make sure you put some on your face because it was a facial lotion. But then I swear you saw me, because I didn't know what, what shirt I was going to wear, but when I decided to wear a cutoff, I swear you saw me putting a, some on my shoulders and some on my arm too, right? So I thought you're going to follow suit. And also on your side of the sink underneath, we have our body sunscreen lotion that you always remember to put on, which I don't really put on the, the body one, right? Right. So if you if you knew to put it on your face, because I reminded you, if you were that concerned, you would also kind of remember to just go one foot underneath where you were just to grab the sunscreen. But anyways, this is called a leap in logic. You're giving me more credit for logic than actually exists. No, but here's the thing. I blame James afterwards. Like, I feel like you were, you intentionally did not put sunscreen on your arms. So that you could be like, oh my god, look what happened. I got injured. I got hurt. So that we could never do anything. Yeah, that, activity again. okay. That, you giving me that much credit is crazy. You've been watching your TV shows a little bit much. You, you really think I would go that far to avoid going on another hike? That's extreme. And well, you're take it back now or it's not going to end well. Well, no, no, I, I thought it. Oh, you but, thought it. But you know, but that's not the case. It is extreme, but sometimes you are extreme. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but I'm letting you know in this case, I was not extreme. I just slipped my mind and I blame you <laughs> Why? because I have no understanding of any of Mark's products, like the face 
creams and blah blah oh, yeah. blah. Like, I don't know anything of it. So when he tells, when the bottle's this big and he's like, apply it to your face. That's all I'm gonna do because I don't know how much that thing costs per ounce. There's there's that, been things he's bought that I'm like, that's expensive. But you do you, and that's fine. Serum and yeah. yeah. So you scared me into using more than I was allotted. Fine. Yes, the sunscreen was on my side, but that was out of sight, out of mind. I was just focused on the product that was on yeah. the counter and I only used enough for my face and the back of my neck. The first thing James said is, I mean, I thought it was very expensive because I didn't want to use Is that true? Yeah, I said that though. Yeah. You scared me into thinking that. We went to the airport one time and all of his skin stuff got <laughs> confiscated because the, the product name, they need a rebrand because the product name was like called sake, but it's for your face. <laughs> and the guy thought it was alcohol. Because it has sake in it actually. Oh, real sake? So I could drink it. I don't want to drink no, it. No, I don't want to drink it. It's for your face, but it's called peach sake. Yeah, and then he had to throw away the whole thing because the, the bottle size was bigger than what TSA allows. So I'm just a very cautious with any of his... I don't know how to use any of his... Everything on his side of the sink, I should do an unbox, unreveal, and try to <laughs> guess what everything is because there's a bunch of stuff on that side I don't know anything about. I bought some more. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go hiking again. Yes, I'm please. okay. And I'm also kind of been motivated because you know you know me. I've always said, "Hey, let's go hiking." Like that's been my mo. Like I, I, for me, I like to say it, but then if I don't have the you know if if the other person is not okay, we're gonna go right now. Like then I'm not gonna like really push for it either. I just want to, but I'm not that pushy. But then James is really good because I want to say, hey, let's, hey, should we go hiking soon? James always says, that sounds like a good idea, sure. But then he's also not like planning or being pushy. So both of us were like, <laughs> just years later, then we go. Well, no, that is years later. But I also, there was a pivotal moment when you woke up and it was 930 and I was still in bed. And I was like, I, if I lay here long enough, we won't have to go hiking. But I was like, you really wanted to go hiking? So I made sure I got up. Yeah. And and by the end of it, you're do you hoping, remember? You're hoping that I didn't wake up, huh? Well, because I even, you were kind of like complaining like, yeah. oh, it's so late. But yeah. I was like, I woke up at seven. Honestly, I woke up, looked at him and he was asleep. And that was me waking up. And I was like, well, you were still sleeping. So bye, girl. <laughs> um, but then I was like, by the end of the hike, though, do you remember what you said, though? What did I like say? Like that once we like kind of were getting to the very end of the hike, you, you specifically said, that you're very happy that we actually did it. Yeah. Like that made- Because again, um, I don't know why, I tend to wake up early on the weekends, but lately, body's weird. Like I have a hard time waking up in the morning. It's called old age. <laughs> but when you said you woke up at seven, I was like, well, you just opening your eyes and glancing over me and then you completely fall back asleep doesn't mean you wake up. And how come you didn't wake me up? It then? was about 20 seconds and I never wake you up if I don't have to. Yeah. So it was 9.30 when I actually woke up and I was like, crap, it's already 9.30. By the time we get ready, it's going to be like 10.30. What is one reason why I might not go hiking again based on what happened on the hike? Oh, you can't, you can't use that to blame me. Oh, okay, I, I'm so, letting you explain. I could have just came for you, girl, but I'm letting you explain what happened. It's not warranted for you to be upset at me. It's not warranted at all. You think you could be mad at me because you reacted a certain way, but I didn't do it. Oh, girl, let's not be purpose. vague and and just say what happened and then let the people decide. Well, we're all we're gonna walking, choose your side anyways. It's okay. A bee. You, flew, you didn't confirm it was a bee. You said it sounded like a bee. Some flying insect that had a really loud buzzing sound flew inside my ear, and it like it made contact. And then I, that scared me because it's loud and I feel it. So I go, whoa. And then like, no, 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 like, wait, 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 wait. You're downplaying the, what you said. What it was mean? a lot more dramatic. All of your limbs disassociated <laughs> from your body as you jumped up and then they came back to center. And the way you reached a new decibel level, I've never heard. It hit the inside of my cochlear. I don't even know where that is, but that's deep inside where you should put your Q-tip in. And I was just, and then I made, I was very embarrassed myself because I made, I don't even remember what noise like, I made. <gasps> <gasps> it was, no, it was worse than that. It was louder than and that. And thank God no one was near us. 
It was, and I, I flailed. I disassociated my arms too. No, I think I think it was like one of those like one hand was on your chest and the other hand was up. Like oh, like well, I I literally thought your brain exploded <laughs> because of your reaction, and I was like, well, we're not even all the way back to the the car yet, so I can't lift your body all the way back. My reaction was embarrassing, but I had a reason, like the beep. Your reaction was like it was like a domino effect, right? Yeah. And then I'm so happy that at that moment. No one was behind us or in front of us, and the whole walk, like we were around people. But that thankfully, small segment was very high traffic as we were walking there. But thankfully, when that happened, no one was near. They probably heard us, but no one was in our visible like yeah, area. Yeah. So we were like, okay, yeah, we act like nothing happened. But you got so mad at me. I was like. I'm sorry that I startled you, but I didn't do it on purpose. Like, I needed about 10 seconds to cool off, but Mark thinks that I should automatically be okay after the situation, but I need a little bit of time to be like, what just happened? And you know, but just you, let me cool off for a second. But you married me knowing that- um, You're very skittish. Like, um, I get startled easily. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter if it's scary or not, if someone just like jumps up, yeah. My reaction is pretty extreme. Like one time, what? I felt like you swerved the car like four lanes and it was a plastic bag that flew across. You remember <laughs> this? It was, and so every time I see a plastic bag on the street, I have like the trauma of that comes back because I'm just like, you should just stay in your lane. Like I know the bag might resemble, I don't know, An animal. What, whatever it may be, but I get, I'm not scared of what the situation is. I get scared by your reaction. That's what scares me. So but I okay. remember that Fine. incident. You got so mad at me. I yeah. was like, I'm sorry. I just got This startled. was pretty early in our relationship too. Yeah. So if we end up going hiking again, I think I would have a hard time doing the same one again. So should we look into a different one? Like we can't even call it a hike because there's no hiking part. It's just, it's a walking trail along the <laughs> reservoir. Do you want me to go again? Cause I've been telling everyone it was a hike. On my Instagram story, I was like, just walked five miles and I deserve this acai bowl. Like, don't like take it back now. I've already put it out there. No, but I mean. What's a hike then? A hike just, I thought a hike was just, you go from point A to point B and there might be some uh, I terrain. Th I think of some terrain. And then usually I would want like at the end point, there's some kind of satisfying like, like view. Yeah, we just saw the waterfall. 91 freeway <laughs> and a strip club. That was like that was very an, that was an anticlimactic walk. Then that's why it wasn't a hike. It was just All a walking right. trail up okay. along the reservoir, you know. And we got to see a lot of cool birds. Oh, we saw a lot of. You know, that caterpillar tree like bothered me to, like, no it like, looked like the, a caterpillar orgy <laughs> all the caterpillars was on the branch of the tree eating the leaves but there was a lot of them and they're the fur the big furry kinds yeah and, so this is where i'm like we're totally opposites like you're embracing anything that has like a heartbeat and i'm like Get that away from me. There was a part where this caterpillar was like moving really quick across the thing. And I think you said three times like, oh my God, look at it go. Look, baby, look. And I'm like already walking. I'm like, I looked over and I'm like, yeah, that's cool. And then I'm like done. I've never seen a caterpillar run that fast in my life. It runs the same speed as our normal walk. Like that's how fast it was moving across the walking trail. It, I mean, it disturbed me because it looked like a really thick pipe cleaner. You know, those <laughs> things that you use in like grade school to make the fuzzy yeah but it was like bouncing up and down and like th the speed well I, I don't like bugs yeah. to be honest but i was just really impressed at the speed so if you like speed and things going up and down i got you covered we don't need to go on that hike anymore <laughs> fuzzy too okay <laughs> Oh, that was the worst one yet. Cause you had it sitting out. Oh, I do this thing where like, it just sits in the back of my throat and I'm like, my throat closes and it's like, do not enter. And then I'm like, come on. And then I drink a little bit of beer and then it's like, oh. I'm gonna chase it with the shrimp. 
All right, so before we end this video, we actually got a surprise package in the mail. Our PO box, remember we have one of those? <laughs> uh, we want to thank Kara for sending over something. We have no idea what it is. Any ideas what it could be? Well, board game. Board game, okay. Uh, I feel like it might be something more like kitchen-y. What? Oh, is well, there's a note oh my on gosh. here. A gift package. Uh, Mark mentioned wanting something like this in the last live video. I hope this works out. There aren't many reviews, so good luck. I love you both from Kara Jade. Well, I don't, I guess you did, so you should open it. I wonder, now you don't even remember what it could be. Feels like our wedding day or something. The bag is nice. What is this? Oh, it's like, it's is this something, gr <laughs> something for grilling? Oh my gosh. Wait, what is this? What is it? Wait, so it looks like a cutting board on one side. It is a cutting board on one side. But then there's like this platter Another on the trick. other. Should we open this? Yeah, let's too? open it. Like, it, if this thing fits perfectly inside. Oh, does it slide in and out? Wait, hold on. Wait, now you know what it is? I have a guess. Yes. So chop and then... Yes! And this shit, this is the trash bin, no? Wait, how do I open it? Oh. Oh. Wait, so like, on. if I had a guess, it's like you chop and you You throw slide it, it over here? Because I know I said I wanted one of those like cooking what shows. You, what the heck were you chopping in that video? Girl, you make me chop a lot on our live videos. Oh, well, thank, thank you, you so much. We really appreciate it. And you will see it in one of our future live videos. We so. will definitely use this. Thank you so much. Um, I think we are at the word of the day because I need to put some aloe vera on these shoulders. <laughs> What's the word of the day? Kyle. Oh, that is very <laughs> random. So use tile if you guys watch up to this point in the video. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe. We'd love for you to join our family. Make sure you thumbs up this video, comment, and check out one of our other videos. And we'll see you guys next time for Mark's next world famous blank.